settings. Let's go ahead and create a CDN on Azure in under five minutes. So let's see how we do this. Uh, the first thing we want to do is go into Azure, select New, and select Storage, Storage Account. Pretty simple. Give it a name. I'm going to choose Pages CDN because I'm going to use this for a Razor Pages app on ASP.NET Core. And choose General Purpose. Read Access. This will be available uh, all over. I'll choose my subscription. You can choose any subscription you have. And then I'm going to go ahead and select on an existing resource group for my logical grouping. I, I've got a number of other apps there. And choose West US and pin this to my dashboard. I do that so I can easily access it uh, whenever I need to. Configuration sake. Wait for that to deploy. And boom, we're ready. So I'll select that for further configuration. So the next thing I want to do is go into my blob storages and go ahead and create a container for my assets. And I'll name this one images because I'm going to upload some images for that. So we'll go ahead and configure this image container. And what I want to do here is set the access policy to make sure that we're getting public access to this by default is private. So I'll choose blob because that makes um, by default uh, all my assets public accessible there. So I'll close out this little pop-up. And then I'm going to go ahead and configure my CDN endpoint for my storage account. Uh, you can do this right from the blade uh, or the configuration here within the storage account, which is nice. I'll give my endpoint a name. I'm just going to call this uh, I don't know, my images makes sense. Um, my pricing tier, I'll go ahead and select standard Akamai, which uh, makes it immediately available. Horizon uh, takes about 90, 90 minutes or so to populate uh, on the DNS. And then I'm going to choose a seed and endpoint name, which is uh, my URL that will access all of my resources. Now I can use this for images or um, CSS or things like that. Most of my CSS I'm going to go ahead and get from uh, another CDN like uh, Bootstrap, etc. So we'll wait for that to go ahead and get created, and now that's ready. So now I need to upload some, upload some things to uh, that particular endpoint, but we'll test that, and make sure that the endpoint's available. So go ahead and click on this right from the overview. And since it doesn't have a default page, just a URI, we can get just a general kind of 404 message. So now I'm going to use Storage Explorer. This is available from uh, storageexplorer.com. Go ahead and refresh our storage accounts here. Look at the page of CDN. Look at our blob containers. And we'll go ahead and upload some images. Upload a Deadpool image, which is awesome. Fantastic. And now we'll go and see if that's available on our CDN. Images, Deadpool.jpg. I don't think we have a uh, discussion on how we pronounce that as JPEG. All right, awesome. So now we can go ahead and inspect the uh, actual images and make sure that we're getting them from the right place. We'll refresh here, look at the headers, and looking at the request URL, perfect pages, CDN, Azure.net, images, JPEG. Awesome. All right. Getting it from a blob server, HTTP. Great. And get method, looking at all the request headers, perfect. And we're getting our request ID and an e-tag, which is great for caching. Perfect. All right. It's that simple. Under five minutes, we've created a CDN to go ahead and host our uh, assets or image assets for our application. Easy enough to upload some things. And you can take advantage of this for your Angular applications, your ASP.NET applications, uh, Python, etc. Uh, in Azure in under five minutes. Awesome. Let's go see what you can build.